Disclaimer. Before I start this video, I want to remind everyone that this video is heavily inspired by the YouTuber Pat Max content. He is a really great content creator, and I would recommend that collectors of any kind check him out. With that being said, let's begin. <laughs> Since Pac-Man has been around for over 40 years now, he's certainly had a lot of strange and unique things come out of his franchise, and in my opinion, the most unique of them all is the television show released titled Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. As far as the TV show goes, it's far from perfect, but I grew up watching it, so I could just be being biased for loving it. The show was popular enough to get plenty of merchandise, which includes what we'll be talking about today, the Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures plush set, released by Bandai Namco in 2012. The plush set includes eight plushies, Pac, Cylindria, Spiral, Blinky, Pinky, Inky, Clyde, and Lord Betrayus. In this video, we will talk about each plush individually, and I will also include their rarities, and how much I'd price them for. We'll start with the gaming icon himself, Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man has had many plush toys over the years, but this plush, as far as I know, is the only one of his more modern design, and not his classic or arcade look. The plush itself looks great, and it is very well done. His mouth is wide, as it should be, his eyes are the correct color, and the embroidery is very well done. The same goes for his eyebrows. The hands look good for a plush of his size, though the gloves could have been stuffed a little better, in my opinion. But they work just fine. Pac's boots are the right size, and they have nice details on the tops and bottom of them. Overall, this plush is very well made, considering it was mass-produced back in 2012 to be one in claw machines. For Pac's rarity, I'd say he isn't that uncommon, so you could probably snag one on eBay for $20 to $40, though I have definitely seen him go for more. <laughs> This is the only official Cylindria plush out there as far as I know, but I think it looks amazing. Her hair looks awesome, and it even has the pink highlights. This goes for her pigtails too. Silly's shoes are one solid color, though they still look good. Her glasses are embroidered on her face, and I think that is a benefit since they can't be removed. And her eyes look great too. Silly's plush is not hard to come by online, so I would say she's worth $15 to $30 at most. Spiral's plush overall looks good, but there is one flaw I want to point out. His nose. I think his nose is too big. Come on, I'm not the only one who thinks this, right? I hope not. Anyway, Spiral's eyes are embroidered onto the plush which looks good as always. Spiral's gloves are better than Pax in my personal opinion, and I like the sleeves on the gloves too. His shoes look well made too. Spiral's hair always looked funny to me, but in a good way, and I think the plush makers did a good job on it. As for his rarity, I'd say Spiral is just a tad bit more common than Pac-Man, so I'd price him at around $10 to $25 max, but he might go for a little more. <laughs> Out of all the plushies in this set, Blinky has to be my favorite, considering he's my favorite of the four primary ghosts. His body is shaped correctly, and his eyes are embroidered on, just like the other plushies. Blinky has a devious grin on his face, which is based on his promotional render. In fact, all of the ghosts are in their promotional render poses, which is kind of cool honestly. Blinky is not terribly rare, but he is not as common to see as Pac and his pals. I'd say Blinky can go for $20 to $35, if even. For some reason, they decided to make Pinky in Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures more of a hot pink color, instead of her typical standard pink. Despite this, I still like her design, and I think it translates well into plush form. As tradition with these plushies, the eyes are embroidered on, along with her mouth. Unfortunately, and this goes for Spiral's plush too, there is a pretty noticeable seam running up the bottom of the plush. But this is only a big complaint with her plush. 
I personally think Pinky is the rarest plush in the set, because I've only seen one listed for sale on eBay. Side note, I may or may not have purchased said Pinky listing. I would price Pinky at about $25 to $35, though she might go for more. Next up, Inky. His plush looks great too, though there is an obvious flaw. His hair isn't stuffed at all, which causes it to be floppy. Besides that though, he looks on par with Blinky and Pinky in terms of quality. I really like his smug grin, honestly. I would say Inky is the plush you'll see for sale most often, so he is not rare at all. He'll cost you 10 to $20, if even. Ah yes, Clyde. The odd one out in the Ghost Gang, and it shows in his design for Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. He is a round and goofy character, and his voice in the cartoon is absolutely perfect for him. But how well does he translate into a plush? Thankfully, I'd say he looks the most accurate out of all the plushies. There are only two flaws I have to point out, however. The one you'll see most commonly is that the stitch keeping Clyde's hair down can often be torn, causing his hair to stick straight up. The other complaint I have is his size. Clyde is seen to be much bigger than Blinky, Pinky, and Inky, but in his plush form, he is about the same size of them, if not smaller. Like Inky, Clyde is pretty common plush to come by, so he'll only cost you $15 to $20, though he might go for a little bit more. Last but not least is Lord Betrayus, the leader of all the ghosts in Pack World's Nether Realm. His plush design isn't 100% accurate, but that's to be expected. There is one detail I really wish the plush company would have added, though. Where are Betrayus' claws? Yeah, that kind of bugs me that they're not present on this plushie. But besides that, it looks really good. I especially like his mustache. I've only seen Betrayus for sale a few times, so I'd say he's the second rarest plushie in the set. And he'll cost you anywhere from $25 to $45 at least. The Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures plush set is something I fully intend to complete. As of recording this, Pinky, Betrayus, Blinky, and Clyde are currently on their way in the mail, and I will order Pac, Cylindria, Spiral, and Inky sometime soon. Once I have the full set, I will review each plush individually in a video of mine. I think the Pac-Man franchise is truly something to behold, and I hope that Bandai Namco continues to use good old Paxter for many generations to come. Thank you for watching.